Hey, this is John Carlos, and I'm here with a look at the NECA action figure of the Weyland Yutani Commando from Alien 3. As an Alien 3 fan, I'm glad that NECA is making more figures from the film than just the initial dog alien. However, there are more important figures that NECA should be focusing on before they ever get to this character. Like, they could totally made a Dylan figure, or Clemens, or even like Andrews, or Morse. Hell, anybody before you get to this. The random, like, commando that shows up in the last few minutes of the film and barely does anything. But I gotta admit, this looks really, really cool. Like, whatever odd decision making went into making this figure doesn't matter because the work that went into this figure, the detail within it, is really, really good. Like, this is a quality, well done, well detailed figure. And I think fans of Alien 3 will still like having this good figure. I just can't believe they, they got to this one first because this should be, like, in series 11 or 12, not, you know, series 8 when we're just barely touching on the Alien 3 figures. But enough of my jibber jabber. Look at this. Look at all the different fabrics that have been like sculpted in here and all the details, all the different pieces of padding. I mean, let's just start with the legs. You got the like the vertical pads or the vertical lined pads, the straps that go around them, the horizontal s sections on the shin. Uh, you got like the silver boots sticking out of the bottom. You got the uh, like the kind of dirty wash that kind of goes that gives these pads you know a not fresh and clean white look. Uh, separation of like white and brown and tan paint is great. The little little like rivets here look really really good. Uh, you get to the the fabric wrinkle of the pants and just like the sculpting of the different little fabrics, including the little crotch pad thing there and the wrinkling where the 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 little jacket kind of gets tucked into the belt, the dirty belt, the silver paint. I mean, there's some great, great paint and sculpting going on here. It's just fantastic work. I'm really, really impressed by this. It's a good quality figure of a really, really random thing to make. But uh, this turned out great. And then you get to the articulation, which is pretty decent considering uh, how it looks like it'd be limiting because of all the, 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 like the padding and stuff. Like, yeah, this little shoulder pad does limit how much you can bring out the arm that one arm, but it's still, you know, not connected there, so it does flop a bit. But you got, like, the, the ball hinged shoulders, the swiveling hinged ball at the uh, elbows. You got the uh, ball jointed wrist. You have a, uh, a waist cut. You got the ball hinged joint at the, uh, at the hips. You have a, a swiveling knee joint at the back here and a swivel at the ankle, like a ball joint, so you can get it to swivel at two points. Really, really good work. Now, it has been lim limiting at the uh, head. Um, like there is, you know, a joint there, but that, that mask does prevent you from turning it to the right. Uh, and I'm, this little mouth guard, if it comes off, I'm not touching it because I don't want to mess with this, but there's definitely, you know, a, uh, a white masked head underneath there. You can see like the, the white masked jaw underneath there. And you can also see the eyeballs inside the, uh, the little sockets there. Now the uh, the mask thing looks really really good. The helmet, the silver paint is really really clean. The design of it is great. I think it reads really really well. This is an awesome looking figure. Now this figure comes with a few accessories, including the little eye flaps. Um, they didn't make the uh, little eye section hingeable and attached as part of the mask. They make two little eye pieces. One that plugs into the uh, the main eye piece, and the other one that plugs into those little holes right above, so you get that effect. I mean, I guess, considering how small you know this mask is, maybe they don't want to ruin the sculpt by adding a hinge, so that was a nice touch that they included both versions of that. It also comes with this little tiny knife, which what's cool is it does fit into this little sheath that they kind of sculpted in the, uh, the bottom of the boot there. Looks kind of like one of Raphael's size, so that's cool. Uh, also comes with pulse rifle. Classic pulse rifle, but it's uh, all black. No green and black to it, but it does look really, really good. Also comes with this sticker sheet. Uh, now, as much as I like Alien 3, I never really paid attention to these guys' little outfits to see where the heck these go. So, yeah, whatever. But yeah, there's some stickers, and you can put them on stuff. You can also, and one piece of thing I forgot to mention, move these little uh, sections right here. There's a, like a joint on their backpack, so there's a little bit of wiggle to that. Like I said, the articulation on this figure is surprisingly strong considering how limiting it looks like it would be. This figure can totally like put both hands on the pulse rifle with like total ease and it looks really really good doing so. In fact, I gotta say this figure looks really really cool. I know I said this figure is random and I stand by that, but still as an Alien 3 fan, as a Whalen yutani kind of goob, I dig this. I think it looks really cool on the shelf and I'm glad NECA made it. Now get to the other figures, because that'd be good too. More Alien 3. More Alien 3. Thanks for watching.